I had a question on YouTube about one of my tutorials I did a few years back. It was how to shuffle an array. As I look at the code, I could see it could be improved with destructuring. So I wanted to show that improvement because it really is a nice application of destructuring. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. Before we take a look at the code from a few years back, I want to talk about the structuring a bit. I've covered this in a few tutorials before, which I will link to in the description. Now, a destructuring assignment is a JavaScript expression where we can unpack values from an array or properties from an object and then assign them to variables. I think the term unpacking helps understand what can be done. We're unpacking those values and then assigning them to a variable. Let me show a simple example and then we can use this with the sample code for shuffling an array. So I'm just going to show this at the console and here's what I want to enter. I'm going to first set up an array. Uh, one, two, just going to have some numbers in it is all. Nothing super exciting here. Now that is an array and the square brackets indicate that it's an array. Now I want to do the destructuring part now. And this takes place on the left side of the equal sign. So we're, it's the assignment operator. We're assigning values to something. And that's an important thing to keep in mind so that when you see a destructuring expression, you're not confused by it. Because on this left side of the assignment operator, we also use square brackets. But when it's on the left side of the assignment operator, it indicates destructuring. Now this is for destructuring an array. If we were doing object, then we'd use curly braces, but we're doing an array here. So inside of this destructuring assignment, I'm going to enter some variables, num1, num2, and the last thing I'm going to enter is spread operator with a variable small array, okay? Now remember, this is not an array. This is destructuring over here. So what's going to happen is it's going to take the first value, assign it to the first variable, second value, assign it to the second variable, and then because of our spread operator, it's going to take everything else and assign it to small array. So we'll have a number variable, number variable, and then an array variable. So let's go ahead and press return, take a look at that. So if I look at num1, we can see it does contain the one, num2 contains the two, and then small array contains everything else. And so we're able to make that assignment in one expression. Um, that's the power of this destructuring. All right, so those square brackets indicate we are unpacking values over here and then assigning them to variables. So let's take a look now at that code from the exercise of tutorial I did a couple years ago. Now this code, basically what it does is it shuffles an array. So it takes this array or whatever array is passed into the function and it shuffles the order of those elements, the values within them. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how that part works. I have a tutorial on that and I'll link to it. And you can watch that if you haven't seen that one yet. But the part that I want to talk about are these lines right here, these three lines. These three lines are used to swap the position. So this first part up here determines a new position starting from the right side of the array. We determine a new position for this one, and then we swap those two values. Say it comes up with this one here, we swap the three and the nine. In order to do that, we use three lines of JavaScript. We assign the existing value to a temporary a variable, and then we assign the value we want to swap to that position, and then we assign the temporary to 
the position where we swapped from. So three lines of code in order to do that. Well, we can take care of this with just a single statement using destructuring. And that's what I want to show you. I'm going to comment that out. And also, we really don't need uh, this temp variable anymore because we're going to be not we're not going to be using it because of the destructuring assignment. OK, so here, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we want to do first is identify the two things we want to swap. And so one thing we want to swap is the element or the value from the array that's passed in the array that's passed in, and then the new position that is determined. So right here, we determine a new position that we're going to swap. We want to swap that, and we also want to swap the one it is switching places with. So two things from the array, the new position and the one we're switching. All right, that's what we have here. This one's going to go to the new position. What was in the, that position is going to go here. So we're swapping those two. Now, in order to make this work with the structuring, we're taking those two values and we're going to put them in an array. That's what we did there. We just put them in an array. And we're putting them in an array so we can use the structuring. They need to be in an array or an object in order for us to use the structuring. That is the right side of this assignment operator. So now we can do the left side. All right, now on the left side, basically what we're going to use is our square brackets again to indicate we're destructuring. We're going to unpack these two values that are placed in an array. Both of those two values are placed in an array and we're going to unpack them. And where do we want this one to go? Well, this first one we want to go to right there. The second one we want to go to the new position like that. Now, if you were to see this statement, it would be very confusing. But when we break it apart like I did, I think it makes it easier to understand. Over here, we're setting up an array. So we're doing multiple things here. Over here, we're setting up an array with these two values. Over here, we're using the square brackets to indicate the structuring. And then we're assigning them to different positions. All right. And that's all we're doing there. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And let's take a look at this array and see if it shuffled it. And as we can see, it shuffled it. It's in a different order from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that simplified our code. It brought it down to a single statement. But more importantly, you might run into a statement in someone else's code that looks like this. and if you haven't used destruction in your past, you're going to wonder, what in the world is that doing? Well, that's basically what it's doing. We broke it apart so we can understand what that single statement is doing there. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I release tutorials as often as I can. I haven't been able to do it as regularly lately but I still try to release them when I'm able to. And once again, thanks for watching.